What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to talk about the iOS 14.4.2, 14.4.1 1, and 14.4 jailbreak. What to expect, what's currently going on and on what iOS version you should stay on if you're waiting for it. Now this video is more for the people who are new in the community or who haven't caught up with what is currently going on. So if you're a regular viewer you probably know some of these things but it's still a good idea to watch to get an understanding on what's currently going on. So I'm going to start with the currently signed version. It's 14.4. 4.2, which means that you can't downgrade the 14.4.1, 14.4, or any of the betas of those here. So 14.4.2 was released back on March 26th, and the security content is actually just this, just a WebKit vulnerability. And this is important later on, because the iOS 14.4.1 also has just one WebKit vulnerability patched, which means that these are not very important for the jailbreak community, but also means that if you update from 14.4.1 to 14. 14.4.2, you're not going to destroy your chances to get a jailbreak. However, 14.4 patches quite a lot of them. So that's why you cannot jailbreak with the current version of the Uncover, which works on 14.3 and lower. So what exactly do we need for a jailbreak for 14.4 and newer? Well, before we get into that, I would like to mention that there is already a jailbreak for 14.4 and newer, but only for the iPhone 10 and lower. And that is, of course, Checkrain. Checkrain works on 14.4.2 and lower with no problem. However, if you have a newer device like an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, and so on, for those you need to either wait for the Uncover or you need to wait for the Torin jailbreak to be updated. However, there is currently no kernel exploit for 14.4.2 down to 14.4. Many people believe that we have to wait for a TFP0 kernel exploit. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. It's no longer the case since iOS 14.0 because the classic TFP0 method that we used on iOS 13 and lower for jailbreaks like Uncover and Odyssey and Electra and so on, it doesn't exist anymore. So we're no longer waiting for TFP0 kernel exploits to be released by Google Project Zero or so on. And in fact, the jailbreak exploit that we have for the 14.3, which was used by Uncover, and of course 14.2 and so on, did not have a TFP0 kernel exploit. As such, the exploit itself, released by Modern Pawner, basically did not use TFP0 in order to get read and write primitives. They were separately created. So the things have changed a little bit since iOS 14 and I expect them to change even further. So we're no longer waiting for a TFP0 kernel exploit. That's basically history. We do wait for a kernel exploit though, for example, like this. When you see kernel vulnerabilities being patched, usually that's a good sign, especially when you see them on a newer version for the version that you're on. So for example, iOS 14.4 has a lot of them listed here, which means that iOS 14.3 had all these vulnerabilities. And yes, as you can see, iOS 14.3 was indeed jailbroken. However, if you take a look in here, 14.4.1 and 14.4.2 do not come with a lot of security changes. They only come with WebKit vulnerabilities here, which are actually interesting. They say in here, quote, processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. That's actually interesting. The other one here from 14.4.2 is not very interesting. It's basically cross-site scripting. But this one here, which leads to arbitrary code execution, that one may actually be usable in a jailbreak context. However, this is nowhere near enough. There is no kernel vulnerability mentioned in here, which means that either Apple did not know at that time any kernel vulnerability for 14.4 or there is basically no kernel vulnerability for 14.4 yet. However, we know for sure that the exploit that was used on 14.3 was patched. So a jailbreak for the 14.4 would require a new kernel exploit. For the moment, we don't have the kernel exploit necessary for Uncover or Torin. So what should you do in that case? Should you update the 14.4.2 or should you stay on 14.4? Well, for the moment, I would definitely advise you to stay on 14.4 and there's a good reason for that. Even though 14.4.1 and 14.4.2 only patch some very minor things in terms of jailbreak, basically just two WebKit vulnerabilities, however I would still recommend you to stay on 14.4 because Apple has a very very weird way of updating these pages even months after they have been initially published. So it's probably a good idea to stay lower at this moment. It's possible though to go to 14.3 if you're running a very old version, for example if you're running iOS 11 or 12 or 13 or so, you would be able to go to 14.3 with the trick from one of my videos. That method still works, the video is in the description below, and it allows you to upgrade from a very old version to basically 14, which is 14.3, it's quite a good version. 
but do keep in mind that doesn't work to go backwards, so no downgrades. So yeah, for the moment, for those of you who have an iPhone 10 and lower, that is already a jailbreak for you, go ahead and get it. You can jailbreak with Cydia and Substrate and Tweaks and so on. For the rest of you, you need to wait for the Uncover or Taurine, but they will not be updated anytime soon because the 14.4.1 and 14.4.2 don't present any important vulnerabilities and therefore it's very, very unlikely that these can be used for a jailbreak. So what do I expect? Well, iOS 14.5 is currently in beta and I expect it when it drops to be a massive update containing a lot of security changes because it's been in beta for quite some time and once that gets patched, we're going to see exactly what was patched from 14.4 all the way up to 14.4.2. So avoid 14.5 for the moment, do not get that, stay as low as possible if you want a jailbreak and wait for 14.5 to be released so that we can see which vulnerabilities we might be able to use for a jailbreak on 14.4 up to 14.4.2 on all devices. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.